Hi everyone, Jennifer here from My Purpley Life, and um, today I'm going to be doing a video on my current Filofax setup. And um, just really quickly, just wanted to say um, that I still haven't found a job, and I'm still looking and everything. So um, thank you guys for everyone who's um, keeping me in their prayers and sending me their well wishes and some goodies. So thank you for that. Um, so here is a paper chase binder that I got from Rebecca and I believe her name's Angela, I forgot, but um, they sent me this lovely paper chase binder. Um, some of you have been asking um, what it is in my pictures, so this is what it looks like. And inside this um, binder, I'll just show you guys inside. Um, these are some dividers that I made. I have pictures of these on my box if you haven't seen them already. But something new that um, I've been keeping, this is a, I keep this binder at home. And I now use a um, vertical year planner. And it comes out like this. But what I'm using this for is keeping track of my blog posts and my videos. So you can see here. January when I kind of first started. I didn't really have too many things going on, but um, it helps me to see uh, how often I've been blogging and uh, making videos for you guys so that way I don't go um, a long time without doing a video or a blog. So that's, here's this month. You can see it's pretty um, filled up already and you can see in March I did a lot of videos and vlogs for you guys and then so that's how I've been keeping track of that and I just it's just um really easy to use I, I've been loving that and then I have some more um, blog things that I keep in here and um, by the way this video is specifically an entry for Krista her blog is called Organized Heaven and I'll be posting her link down below she is doing a giveaway and she's going to be giving away some filofaxes so this video she asked um, everyone to do a video on their current setup and some accessories that they use and so I'm doing this because um, I don't have the funds anymore to be buying any more filofaxes so I'm hoping that I could win one so Krista, I hope you choose me. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, and then I keep my... Um, some recipes that I find online or something, and I'll jot that down, or recipes that um, people give me, I'll write it in here. Another tab is um, my crafting. I keep um, some wish lists that I like, and um, some things that I uh, need to get. For example, here's um, my stickles. So I've um, wrote down all the stickles and then checkmarked what I have so that way I can see um, when I'm shopping that um, which ones that I need or that I don't have yet. And then another tab here that I have are on um, my pens. And you guys have, um, if you haven't already checked my blog, I've posted uh, some pictures of these, of the pen swatches and some worker swatches. And I have stamp swatches on here too. And with my Filofaxes, I love using these date stamps. And they kind of look like this. This one's a Hello Kitty one. And these are by um, K and Company. They're the Smash stamps. There's other brands as well, but these are just the two that I have. And for example, when I am um, writing something in my week and somebody mentioned, oh, what if something unexpected comes up? That's why I keep um, little pieces of paper in my binder so that if something does pop up, I can just pull one of those pages out and then I can uh, stamp it for the date that is needed and then just stick that on a fly leaf with some washi tape. And... I keep some financial things in here, some finance pages, and then some um, addresses of the 
retailers that carry Filofaxes because they do uh, a segment on my blog called Filofax Adventures. So if you haven't, if you're in California, I try to go to um, retailers that carry Filofaxes and then give you guys my input on that. Um, and then here is my personal purple Finsbury. And then uh, this is a new one as well from Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. I love it. And then um, on here, I keep my Hello Kitty keychain. And I just got that at, um, I think it was uh, Tokyo, something Tokyo. It was a um, Asian store that carries um, accessories and things like that. So inside, when we open it, I keep a lots of paper clips. I don't you put cards in here because I have a separate file of facts for my wallet. So I have uh, some heart clips here, Hello Kitty, and then this clip here is a new one from Carla, and um, I'll post her blog down below as well. And she gave me this really cute Hello Kitty clip that I've been wanting for a long time, and then this. Um, penguin. I have my penguins here because you guys know that I love my penguins. And this penguin here was from Barnes & Noble. And then this one here was from JetPens. And then this one I got at a local craft store that sells, um, actually it's not a craft store, it's a, a scrapbook store. And then I keep some of my post-it flags here. And then my stickers, my homemade stickers that I um, use for my billing here. And then, again, you've all seen this already, but this is just a stamp image that I colored in with my markers and then cut them out and put it on there. And then on the first leaf, in the back of that, is um, some Martha Stewart post-its. So when I need to, again, jot something down really quick, I can put it here. And then here's a picture of my family, my daughter. And then I keep this in here, keep Calm Carry Filofax in purple, because of course I love purple. And then on the first page is um, just that, my color coding. And right now I'm not really um, following my color coding. I am somewhat, but for the most part, um, I write in the same color as um, how I'm decorating my pages, so you'll, I'll show you guys that in a minute. And then what's new here is I got this pen loop, and I'm sorry I can't spell it out for you guys, but I'll post what it is down below in the link, um, in the info bar. But it's attached to the fly leaf like this, so I can keep my Coletto pen in there since it won't fit in the pen loop. And then is the first divider is notes. And I just have, I like to keep um, cards or little notes that people send me. Kind of just, you know, when I open my uh, file of facts and then I see that special note that it just puts a smile on my face. So I just keep some plain note paper here, the lined paper. I have it in cotton cream and in purple, I believe. There you go. And then on the top here, I keep some of those Martha Stewart tabs. And what I've done, um, some of them I'm, I've written things, and other ones I've um, put little pictures, like icons. And I just like doing that. And what I have here is um, some notes for the Filofaxi California Meetup, and some um, job hunting questions and answers. Um, some notes about my tattoo, some notes up, um, wish lists I have here, stationary wish, wish lists, pen wish lists, um, some notes about presents that I um, give or receive, and then a music tab about um, some chords or some music that I want to learn to play on my guitar. And then I have the weekly divider and here I've put some more post-its and these are by Knock Knock. It's just a status update all out of and you can get those at um, bookstores or 
um, Barnes & Noble, they have them as well. And behind that, I keep these D-Timer hot lists for other lists that I need to make. And then I have another fly leaf where I keep my Hello Kitty post-it flags and some of these post-its here as well. And then this is from Barnes & Noble. These are just transparent arrows. And I've hole punched them and stuck them in there. And then I have an envelope, pocket envelope, where I keep some stickers and some of these um, Martha Stewart dewdrops and some stamps when I mail stuff out. And then starts my week on two pages diary. And on the top here, I tab them according to month up here because on the side here, I have monthly tabs as well. So I keep monthly tabs on the top and on the side. And then these tabs, let me see if I can find them. I got those tabs by Girl of All Work and they look like this. And I got these off the Franklin Covey website and I've heard that you can get them at the container store as well but I keep that in my handy dandy sticker book and I've done a video on this already so um, I'm sure you guys are aware of what's in there but I just keep some binder pockets for um, other stickers and I love these you guys have already seen these and I keep some stickers in there and then um, these Martha Stewart pages where I can easily just take out the sticker here that way. So I've done a video on that, so be sure to check that out. And um, my other little sticker book that you've seen, and this is the A5 size. And you guys have really quickly just here are my transparent hearts that I use and some other stickers here as well. And then, you guys have already seen my monthly pages, but I do keep them paper clipped by um, month, so that way it's easy for me to um, go through. If I need something in March, I can just take that paper clip off and then go through that month without getting it, everything mixed up. And then, here we are. In, um, so here again, you can see that I've attached some notes here using um, some paper that I use, extra notes. And if you guys, um, I usually keep this in my desk, but it's just a little container where I keep all my paper pads. So I keep some of um, some, some sheets from the paper pads and stick them in my file effects. I'll show you guys um, where I store that in a little bit, but um, again, you've seen these paper pads. These are from Kane Company, the Smash Pads, and I love using those. Um, there are some here from, these are journal tags from Studio 112, and then this little booklet from Morning Glory, which has some post-its and some flags, and then some more of these pads from Morning Glory chest paper like this so just those are just some more things that I use and then here is my week so far I'll be posting this um, at, on my blog but I keep a fly leaf in, in between the pages for my little extra notes and see how I've attached that with some washi tape there and then I keep my to do marker today today marker and then um, for whatever day it is I have a little flag arrow and I point it to what day it is so that way I know what day of the week I'm at so today is Saturday so I've moved that here pointing to Saturday and then let's see here I have my monthly tab and I keep another um, horizontal year planner. This is a different one. This is by a month. 
and you can see a little bit here how that looks like. But I use this mainly um, for my work schedule, but since I'm out of work, I use it mainly just for my husband's schedule and for my daughter's um, school schedule. So I know when they don't have school or things like that, and I can um, work my way around that. And then I keep the Franklin Covey Simplicity Month on Two Pages here. And again, I use this mainly for um, planning my bills that I have to pay. So here, I just write the date and then whatever the bill is and the amount. And when I have paid it, I simply just check mark it. And then I use those um, stickers, homemade stickers, to put those on the months here. And I've also decorated this with some washi tape. And then I have the whole year in here. And then I have um, financial. And you can see this bright yellow tab here. I've done that on purpose so that when I'm paying bills or things and I need um, to know like a username and password, I can just easily flip to that and then see what that is. But I use these www pages and it has um, the website, you just write the website down, your username and then password, that's what I, I would do and I um, write it encrypted so that if anybody does get a hold of this or they want to see it that they're able to do that. And then I just have some other um, financial notes here. And then I have the address pages where I keep um, some important addresses that I need to refer to. And then I have this zip envelope that I got from Morning Glory and I just love this because it doesn't have that zip lock. It has um, like this slider tab here that I could use but I keep lots of stickers in there. And then in this back tab there's a zipper pocket here and that's where I keep all those um, little notes. So I'll just show you guys here really quickly. Um, See, so I just keep like a spare paper in that pocket there. And then um, I keep two pens, as you can see here. This one is the Pilot Friction Slim, and it, it's erasable. And I love the slim one compared to the regular friction ones because they fit in these pen loops. And you know, Philofax pen loops, um, some are elasticized, some are not. So the ones that are not elasticized, these pens fit very well if you like using those erasable pens. And then again, my Coletto pen, which is a four, four barrel. And then some other um, things that I like to use with my Philofax, um, again, is washi tape. You guys know I'm very, uh, keep lots of lots of washi tape handy. And then um, I also use these bookmarks as well and these are magnetic and these are cute. You can use these as to mark your um, pages instead of the ruler if you don't like the ruler. And you guys know I love my masking stickers and I keep that on a ring. And then um, some of you have been asking how I attach um, my flags because some flags, for example here, don't stick as well or they come off. Here's another one here. So what I use is is um, tape runner and they come like this and you can buy these at um, your local craft store. Some are like this. So they look like that and I just... Um, run some tape on that and then have let it stick on that. And then is my big box of post-its. And then I just keep um, all my post-it notes and things like that in here. Just to show you guys really quickly, here are some of my Martha Stewart, some post-it note tabs here, and lots of other goodies that I use in my file effects. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, thanks again. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask and 
Um, don't forget to subscribe to me and check out my blog and check out the other videos if you haven't yet already. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, and my kids want to say hi. So really quickly, hurry up, say, say hi. Okay, it's going to take them a little bit of time to get here. But they always watch mommy do her videos and they're like, oh, I want to say hi. Okay, hurry up, come on. Jenna, you first, come on. Come here. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. This is Jenna How old are you? Six. Okay, and here is Calissa. Come here, baby. Say hi, Calissa. And this one's the Philo fanatic who's always into my Philo faxes. Ah, yes. It broke. Oh, it broke. It's okay. Mommy will get you another one. Say bye bye, everybody. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. bye. Say bye bye. 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 See you next time.